Okay, hey guys, uh, in today's video I'm going to be showing off the installation process for the dedicated pinball setup that I made. Um, I've been working on this setup for a couple years now and uh, I've been kind of adding to it and uh, changing things on it. Um, but it's actually in a really solid state right now and I'm going to be making two videos. Uh, one is going to be the installation process which is going to be this one and then I'm going to do a video and just kind of show off the various wheel sets launching uh, from from in the uh, various front ends. So um, let's kind of like get into things here. Uh, if you go into the drive uh, the first thing you notice is going to be uh, your drive's got to be the letter F. And um, if you don't know how to do that, I've actually included a uh, small utility on the drive. Uh, and it's located here in the installation folder. And if you click on it, it'll just kind of like bring all the drives connected uh, to your computer. And what you can do is say, this is the one that the setup is on. You're going to click it and you're just going to um, go to change drive letter. And then just kind of scroll down to the F letter. And you click on it and it will just change everything in an instant. So that's actually pretty nice. I'm going to close that now and uh, this is the file that's going to allow you to uh, run the installation uh, for this setup and if you double click on it, um, oh I'm sorry, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually run it as admin, um, you're going to click yes. And what it's doing here is it's just adding a, a exceptions to your computer uh, so Windows Defender kind of skips over the drive um, for various uh, I guess maybe file types as well as uh, the drive itself. Uh, this is going to basically install um, registry settings uh, for some things that uh, need to be on there. Uh, I'm going to click OK. Uh, it's going to go through your B2S, your pop packs, stuff that needs to be registered to your computer. I'm going to click OK. Uh, all pinball components registered. Um, then it's going to ask you how many screens you've got. And for this setup particularly, I, I, I have two, but it does support three. Um, and I'm going to click no for this. And then it's going to ask you if, you're, if you have a 4K play field or a 1080p play field. Uh, it, it basically only supports these two formats right now. I have a 1080p, so I'm going to click no. Um, and then it's going to basically just ask you, uh, or I guess maybe give you some notables on what to look for when setting up your screens. So uh, just kind of give that, you know, a quick read through. And if you click OK, it's going to bring up another picture. Uh, your play field should be on the left. Your backlash should be number two, or I guess right next to it. Your DMD next, and then your topper. So then kind of close that out. And then it's going to ask you... Um, then it's going to go through and just kind of install a bunch of prerequisites, uh, you know, for each program. These are going to be your net files, uh, your, I guess, maybe lav filters for, uh, this is a Pinball X thing. Um, but uh, since I already got it, I'm just going to quit. Actually, I'm going to go through and I'm going to quit um, all these uh, just to kind of speed up the installation process. But for you... You know, take the time, go through, click next, make sure everything installs properly, and just kind of go from there. So I'm going to click cancel on that. I'm going to click cancel. Um, I've already done all this, so it shouldn't matter. Uh, give it a second. Um, cancel. But uh, yeah, these programs are here, so everything kind of runs smoothly and it pertains to uh, anything PC related, uh, you know, your Zachariah pinballs, your FX, um, even your, uh, you know, visual pinball, future pinball, etc. So this program has actually got nine different programs, as well as MAME, MAME Shmups, and the Jukebox. So it's got like a ton of content. Um, are you sure you want to cancel? Yes, I want to cancel. Um, it's got over 2,000 different wheels. Um, Everything is largely tested. I spent quite a few hours on this, so it's uh, it, it runs pretty well. As you'll kind of see here as I get to the next video. Uh, I'm just going to go through and cancel all this. Um, 
we should be coming to the end. Oh yeah, we're at the end here. So for this, uh, this file is needed for Pinball M as well as Pinball FX. And there's going to be two of them. Um, it's, now it says let's install Pinball X. And for you, you would just kind of click OK. Install it to the default drive. And uh, it will uh, lead you to the next section, which is uh, registry settings for uh, visual pinball as well as future pinball. Um, here's the pinball in, uh, installer. Give it a second. It'll, it'll come up. Um, now we're st installing VPIN MAME for your visual pinball setup. And uh, we're going to click OK. And you're going to check your pass. It should be F um, all the way to the various folders. Uh, for that program and then you're going to click defaults and make sure use external DV, uh, DMD is checked uh, and then just kind of go through the checklist um, on the JPEG and just make sure everything is correct okay I'm going to click close I'm going to click OK uh, I'm going to do the same thing with this with this is your Ghostbuster uh, installation so uh, I'm going to click quit I'm going to click OK. Uh, now what it's doing is it's installing um, your Pinball Popper, 2K Pinball Popper, which is your 1080p essentially. So that is done. Um, then we're going to go and install the Pinball Popper screen resolutions. And you're going to get like a JPEG here that comes up. Um, then you're going to click OK. And it's going to, oh, you click no twice. Uh, minimize this just to kind of get it out of the way for a second um, and if you kind of go down the list you can kind of see all the values are 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 already there and you can check them but they should be correct uh, as I got various file sets loading in um, for the installation part so it kind of makes it very very easy um, here's your your, your top is set to like 1080p resolution I think that's going to be pretty much uh, standard across the board depending on the monitor that you got uh, your DMD is going to be 800 by 600 and it's going to already be centered in the center of your back glass um, and uh, this is uh, already kind of like done for you everything should be correct your back glass should be uh, set to uh, 1920 by 1080 and then your play field because I selected 1080p at the beginning that's going to be my play field so uh, I'm going to hit setting saves then I'm going to click exit um, pinball popper and it should have now been configured let's move on to the next section uh, and the next section is going to be your flex DMD so I'm going to hit OK this is the JPEG that kind of comes up um, but then the program will actually come up and what you want to do is you want to go to uh, your arcade folder emulators visual pinball vpin mame you're going to click ok then you're going to click register and then register and then you're going to close it out uh, now we're going to run the b2s screen configuration and i'm going to click ok you're going to get a jpeg uh, here uh, again the values should be correct because i got a file that gets uh, copied in uh, when you start the installation and just kind of go down the list and you should and everything should be correct um, for this uh, you know you've got a DMD which is going to be 800 by 200 basically 4 to 1 um, and it's going to uh, it, it's actually offset uh, your X offset is going to be from your uh, second drive right um, and if you click this, you got drive uh, display one, two, and three. So display one is going to be your play field. Display two is going to be your back glass, and then you've got your offset um, here, just to kind of get everything um, perfect. So I'm going to close that. Now we're going to set up uh, your pinball arcade, and for this, um, because I inserted uh, a, a registry file for this program. It's going to open and it's going to air. So I'm going to click this. I'm going to click done. Um, I'm going to click done. You should actually get an error if you're doing it for the first time. It will throw up an error. Just click, uh, click quick, quit 
and then click OK, it'll open it back up one more time and now you can set the settings. So the two settings that you're going to be paying attention to are going to be your Display DX11 and your cabinet. So the display should be 1080 by 1920, 8, 100% quality, 16, um, this is your filter, br uh, bright and ball, and then full screen, and then you're going to check your cabinet. Uh, coordinates as well. So as long as those two match you should be good. Click done. Um, then we're going to set up your pinball FX2. Uh, you're going to be doing your resolution, your cabinet mode, um, as well as your button changes. And um, you're going to get uh, something that opens up here. And what I want you to do is I want you to actually take a picture of this, uh, either with your phone, something else, something like this. Um, and then once you take a picture of it, you're going to be using this as reference when you go into the program. So the only thing that you're going to be changing is A and D on the, on the two nudges. So kind of, you know, take heed of that and then just kind of go down the cabinet settings and make sure it matches these. And then when you close this, it's going to launch the FX2. If you look on the uh, backboard now, you can already see the settings are in place. So you know they are correct. And then you go here into the cabinet mode and you're just gonna basically put everything, you know, top to bottom, uh, type in your various coordinates, everything should be good. And then um, go to the controls and just change nudge to the left, uh, nudge to the right, A and D. And then after that is done, close it, close it, go here, close, exit game. And then that should be set. So after that is done, you're going to be doing the same thing now with uh, Pinball FX3. And the process is going to be a little bit different, right? Um, just because uh, with FX3, you actually need uh, a cabinet code. However, I don't have a cabinet code. I have a cabinet hack. So after this loads up, click Cancel. Go into the wheel. And up here, or you can actually, sorry, you can go in here first. Um, change your controls, whatever. Um, change your controls. Uh, leave the right shift, left shift, and then change A and D for your for your nudges. And then after that, uh, go up here, and you should like across the top. You should actually have a place to kind of like put in a code. This is what I typed out: E R R T two three four. 534. It could be any combination of letters and numbers. Just put in anything. It doesn't matter. And then when you click enter, it's going to start glitching. It's going to start beeping. Click Alt F4 to close out the program. Then, one, then once that is done, it's going to ask you to take another picture. And you're going to do the same thing for, uh, you're going to do the same thing as, as uh, Pinball FX2. So take a picture, close this out. P of, uh, FX3 will now launch. You should have cabinet mode available to you. You're going to click cancel. You're going to go in. And then when you click cabinet mode, just fill out the various coordinates that you took a picture of on your phone. And then once that is done, just exit out and you're pretty much done. So, oh, this is uh, the Ultra DMD. Just kind of ignore this. This was done earlier. I kind of reintegrated it into the setup. So I'm going to click OK. Now it says we are done. Thank you for choosing Hyper Arcade Systems. Um, yeah, so that's basically the, that's going to be the, you know, installation process for the pinball setup. Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. All right, bye.